Hey folks, Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Copycat Friday, where we recreate a popular film technique. Now this time we're inspired by a music video from Dua Lipa, and they've done this awesome transition where you can see the camera fall through a swimming pool, and in the opposite world, the dancers are now flamingos. But the cool thing about this transition is that you can choose which kind of surface that you want to sink through, so you don't have to do this in a pool. First up, we want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Rocket Stock, and they've come out with a brand new video pack called Sumi. It's an incredible collection of 4K ink drops in various styles. Now you can experiment with different blunt modes to create something very unique and stylish. Definitely check it out, guys. You can visit the first link in the description below. But now let's sink through the ground into a parallel universe. If you're doing this through the grass, you'll need to dig a little hole. The idea is that your camera will be completely under the surface. You can also look for existing gaps or trails through small hills. The transition consists out of three shots. In the first one, you simply drop your camera into the gap or hole. You can do this perfectly handheld. For smoother motion, you can also use a camera jib or slider. Important though is that you move at a constant speed. Don't slow down as you approach the ground, but do be careful that you don't smash your camera, of course. For a second shot, you turn your camera upside down and do the same movement. This time you start from the ground up, leave it for a brief moment in the air and go back into the ground. In this second shot, you can make adjustments to the scene. Have your actor wear something different or change something to the environment. And for the third shot, you simply move the camera back up from the ground. Now then inside Premiere Pro, you simply trim and align these three clips. It's nothing more than that to get the transition effect. Now if you don't get it as smooth, you could add a simple dissolve transition between the clips for two or three frames. But hold on guys, because we're going to take this to a next level. When you're shooting the transition shots, try and play with the rotation of the camera. As you fall into the ground, rotate your camera so that your second shot is not upside down. This way we keep the impression that we've synced into a parallel universe underneath the surface. Next up comes the color grading and perhaps some visual effects. For this I create an adjustment layer and put it on channel number 2 on top of my clips. With that adjustment layer selected, I open up the Lumetri panel and head over to the color wheels. We're going to a parallel universe, so nothing there is normal. This is why I'm pushing green into the shadows, an artificial color. I'm also pushing the exposure of the shadows down for a deeper contrast. For the midtones, here I'm going to add blue to make the scene colder. It's a dark world, so under the basic correction tab, I'm also bringing down the exposure. This grading only applies to the upside down clip, so what I'll do is animate the opacity of that adjustment layer so that it fades in and out during the transition. So this is a very quick grading. If you, by the way, want to learn more advanced techniques, definitely make sure to check out our complete color grading guide by clicking in the cards up there. For the other elements like the ink drops from Rocket Stock, Sumi, or the texture on the ground, I used After Effects. With my desired layer selected, I click on Track Camera from the Tracker window. After the process is complete, you will see all these tracking points in your shot. Right click on one and select Create Null and Camera. It will add those two layer elements to the composition. Then drag anything you like into your scene, like one of these ink drops. From the switches then enable that layer for 3D and use the Whip tool to connect it to the Null object. You can then change the position, scaling and blending mode of that layer to your desired needs. Since it's linked to the null object, it should now be part of the scene and move together with your camera. The final step is sound design, and apart from the music, adding sound effects makes the scene more realistic and dynamic. Now, there are various libraries I get my sound effects from. You could use Premium Beat and get one of their sound effects packs, or use freesound.org which is a community collection. When going through the ground, a happy swoosh sound works great. To make the transition even more realistic, search for the material that you're breaking through. That could be the dirt of the grass field, bricks of a stone ground, water splashes, etc. Combining your heavy swoosh and surface sound effect, you should get the following. And that was it again. Thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, and for liking this video, but most importantly, for staying so creative. 
Hey guys, this year at IBC 2017, I'll be giving a workshop about how to create more depth with lighting. If you can't attend IBC this year, no worries, we'll be live streaming that entire event. And if that live stream is over, if you're watching this in the future, well then we put that video as well online. So you can find the link to that live stream or to that video in the description below.